Okay, just playing some bullet uh, to get ready for the next challenge session. Just pace it, warm it up. Play about three games, warming up. Get back into the warming up stage. Uh, if this opponent's going to start. Oh, and they have. Okay, so let's get cracking. It's a 2 1. So I still need to move a bit speedy. A move a second, maybe. Mouse willing. Should be okay. It's a stalwart mouse. Let's bring the bishop here. Let's get the knight out. It's really like two seconds, isn't it? Because you have to look to see what they've done, then you have to move. Let's take. Take. X ray. Castle. Rook. Gonna go with the queen in front of the rook. Goes against the grain of chess practice. Attack the rook. Gives him the excuse to double his rook. But he is behind his own pawn. Oh, it's not playing. Oh, let's take it. <laughs> Just about to move it. And he's still on the pawn. Uh, do you know, I don't like the knight. Too much power in these and I'm going to attack the queen as well, double the pawns. Ten seconds ahead. It counts. Oh, he's going for a double whammy. Oh he's attacking. How do we want to play this? Let's go here. See if we can double. This greedy munching queen goes around the back. Can we just maybe go opposite or here? Let's go here. Stay on the palm. Looks like they're going for a complicated line, which is chewing up their time. I'm happy for that. Let's just go for simple. I think the queen's coming around the side here, coming for these pawns, this pawn. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's just bring the queen here. Still coming here, then we can take it. And a lot of fought in. Right, so what do we want to do? Do something different in the rook here. See if we can challenge the queen. Let's see if we can challenge the queen. But as we know, they don't exchange the queens. They dance all over the place. Oh, and he's taken the pawn. Magical mystery tour, he's taken the pawn. Now, this is the longest thing I'm having in the game, isn't it? I'm going to come round for a back ranker on the back here. So we're going to dance about a bit with the queen. We're ahead by 20 seconds. Time is a factor in these bullet games. This is the first warm-up one, so I'm not expecting to win anything. Let's just go here. Still a few seconds ahead. Looking to actually try and get my queen. What do we do? We're going to have a two on one on the pawn. So, put the check on the king. And do we come back and save the pawn? Or do we come here? We're not going to be save, able to save the pawn. And we're not going to have any checks on his king. Going to push, he'll have a 2 on 1. Not going for anything, which is a good sign. Let's just bring the rook here. 16 seconds they're on. And he's dancing. So we might as well hit the queen. Still dancing. Hit the queen and the pawn. I'm going to take the pawn. Sitting us, let's hit the queen. And he's still dancing. Let's hit the queen again. 
Get the queen this time for free. Excellent. Do a free game warm up. Gotcha. And we do this one differently, don't we? This opening. Don't fall for any of that rubbish. Let's do this. Happy, happy, happy. Let's go. Yeah, so that's fine. Don't think too much, dude. Don't think too much. Just hit something. Very through to the king for. See if we get this, oh, and they're not having any of that. Let's get a pawn. Are we in a bad state? Ta capturing the pawn once he takes. It's bishop attacks it. The rook attacks. Trying to get this here, but they're doing everything in their power to stop it. I've moved. Okay, may as well double. Oh, bishop's protecting on the bishop. King has to come and do Oh, it can't come across. Let's capture. Bishop gets to move. Check on our king, dude. We have to move it. Bishop. Situation brewing. Do that. Oh, I'm losing my pawns. The other side. I'm losing the pawns. I'm going to lose this pawn now. I made oh the plus that I'd gained I have to lose it. Oh I've lost the pawn. I gain a bishop. Oh no, okay fine. What do we do? Anything to do? No. Time. I'll have to just use the time. Takes takes. Bing. Offers a draw. Time wise, I'll use the time against them. 
Oh, that's that's unlucky. Damn shame. <laughs> it's a bit cheap, isn't it? I don't care. Right. So that was the second warm up match. Let's try and see if we're ready to go into an arena after this third one. Let's go here. Okay. Stack the queen. Aggressive player. Protected. Okay. I don't know if it's war warrants going into an arena though. Doesn't feel sharp, sharp. I think we'll we'll call it a day for the bullet because we're not really a fan of it, as we said before. But we're we're used to it now. Just don't feel sharp enough. It might be because I'm using this new mouse. Well, it's not a new mouse. It's a a different mouse to the um other one which was really so sensitive i tried to sort every sensitive setting on it and it still just dragged and dropped it it holds nice in the hand though that's the thing uh, whereas this one's like old school and it works and it's robust it just doesn't feel like it's as fast but it doesn't cause me any problems 
So today I think I will take a rest on the bullet and um, we will jump in on maybe a rapid or something like that. See if we can get prepared for a rapid game. You know, the 2-1 two, two, was a bit stretchy. Let's see if we can wake the brain up a little bit. Like my brain is opening up a bit, but I don't mean I'm going to find the right stuff. Too much thinking there, dude. Let's take, keep it simple. Right. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, the rooks are going to be hitting me. Oh, the queen even coming here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's done, isn't it? It's done. I'm going to have to come here. I think. As the queen was coming in. Well, the rooks can still put the check on anyway. Yeah, we're on the back foot. We're on the back foot. Thank you. Oh, is that a bad move? Oh, they're still playing on, so it was bad. Something's bad. Oh, the bishop's just going to come and put the check on or the pawn. Oh, they've resigned. Whew. Quick look at that. Yeah, so if we can, I was going to go here, but this is saying queen c2 check. Yeah, so I'm thinking so much about this area here. I thought the bishop could just come and put a check here. But then I saw that we had the bishop, but the bishop would get there first. So I would have been wrong, you know. If I'd have rushed to put that there, he would have just put the checkmate. Well, I can take. But then the pawn's here, and then the bishop comes in and defends. Give it a try anyway. Not good. Oh, minus seven. I was thinking they were doing that. Can we do that? Then they do that. Then we do that. Oh, okay, cool. We still got the queen on the board. Nice one. Panic over. All right, let's get back into another one. Let's attack the knight. Let's get these blitz games out of the way. Let's just get the bishop here. Simple. 
Nice easy development. Looks like we're going into a swift end game. Potentially a draw, just moving very quickly. Oh, now they're starting to flicker. There's no need. Just chill. And the long pause kicks in. Expected little manoeuvre. Let's be practical, do let's be practical. Oosh. Although, still even Stevens, it's only plus one, dude. Plus 3.5, so that's not too bad then for position. Okay, fair enough. And we'll play one more. Last game in the warm up, not playing as black. Nice one. Three and O. Oh. oh, they're not going to play. Oh, they've moved. They've moved. Let's go. Let's get the night out. Ship. So a bishop Okay, so let's just get the queen up. Lovely, they're taking a long time thinking. This game's not going to last long, which is good. Let's just pack the bishop. Simple chess. This one. They're going to run out of time. Out there. I can sense it in my water.
Oh, interesting. Only safe square, and we can't actually hit it. Go here. Don't start overthinking, just make a move. We said that we're going to lose on time at the start. Let's see if we can keep that ball rolling. Given it up, oh, I have the sights of it, and I didn't. <laughs> oh. oh, give me strength! All that beautiful work for nothing. Carry on, though. Their time is running out. Basically, I can do anything. Uh, shame. Okay, that's the last one. We'll jump in onto the rapid. I think we'll go into the um, 1100 section on the rapid and uh, see how we're getting on. Out of chess session. 10 minutes zero increment game. Let's go in and have a half decent session or not with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think we're going to stand much of a chance here. We'll do a surprise move like this. Yeah, exactly. Um, seeing as we've been covering the 1100 one, um, we've just played a 1200 there, and obviously they weren't 1200 level. So now we can really kind of put a bit of focus on 1200 if we're going to be playing the 1200s. We haven't even hit the 1200 mark yet. We're 11, still in the 1100s. 
let's go and see what we can do oh we're back in with the 1100s okay so we're expecting lots of blunders we're not expecting good um, position we're not expecting good defense or calculation or planning or anything like that we're not expecting to get squished in any way shape or form so at the end of the day we're expecting an erroneous mess if we don't see that we know we're not playing an 1100 let's crack on bring the bishop out We've got a thinker. All right, let's castle. As usual, expecting and looking for that blunderous position or the mistake, you know, and then hopefully I can try and take advantage of the mistake or the error. If I don't see any, I know there's a problem and we're not playing what we're supposed to be playing. Let's go here. Going for the exchange, we're doubling the pawns. It's a little tiny weakness if you want to class it as that, but they do have space now to come down with their rooks attacking. This is why I don't really class it as a weakness in that sense. But in the eyes of the purists of chess, doubling your pawns is weakness, especially coming into the end game now. it would have been better if the king was on the other side and it didn't have the open track for the rooks to start attacking down here but we are where we are so they've not made any major errors they've made one error by doubling the pawns but i'm classing that as a plus really because in our style of play we do like that and especially if we're in front of the king like this showing disconnected but i don't believe they have i think they'll come back on and we will see Superstardom. But the one line header that I do have for the 1100s is blunders. Simple as that. Yeah. There's not one blunder in the game. And they've abandoned the game. I mean, that's a blunder in its own right. That's not, that's not a winning thing in any way, shape or form. So I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, we'll crack on with the next one. 1200, right. So, the one liner I've got for this is. Oh, hold on. Get that wrong, right? I'm looking at the wrong page there. Missed attacks. Yeah, the element of missing attacks. They know basics, but they don't actually apply the basics. They, they have knowledge of the basics of a good defense, but they don't usually apply it consistently but they end up then missing attacks. If we don't see that sort of trade, we know we're not playing 1200. Obviously there's blunders in there as well. So that's the second line really underneath um, all of that, that we've just talked about. Yep. So there are no solid basics, but they miss attacks and there's blunders. 50% less than the 1100, but it's still a lot of blunders. That's what we should expect. But it's for us to take advantage of those blunders and actually see the blunders. Okay, let's do the bishop blocker for this thing, yeah. Let's get this bishop out, baiting a pawn. No, he's not going for the pawn. Let's just bring the rook here. So knowledge of good defense seems to be sort of working. That's going to be castling. And we're hoping that they can miss some sort of attacks. Why, why, why was my brain chomping at the bit to do that there? Then? Must have felt good. Let's attack the knight with a smaller piece. I don't think they're going to take. I think they're going to push. But hey, what can you do? That gives us a bit of that. Good job. We've got the bishop blocker there. And now we can bring the bishop here, attacking the rook. I take the rook off the board. And look to see if the knight can come out. Make sure my bishop's not falling down. That's got no protection. 
look for the exchange if we can, but I don't know if they will do. Where is the knight going? Attack the queen. Whilst the rook sleeps. Uh, they're not going for it, so let's attack the queen. With the support from the bishop. Doesn't have to take. Probably running again, like we said. Nobody wants to exchange the queens lately. They have done. Let's take. And let's take. Good job we've got this bishop blocker position here. That's all I'm saying. Right, so... It's only plus one. We need to look to improve the position. The B pawn is going to be attacked, definitely. That's going to mess up the structure of the pawns here. So we're going to probably need to bring the rook here, supporting the pawn. As the rook is going to come up straight away and attack it. Although the bishop could come back and defend as well. And this pawn now, in a sense, because of this, I think it's going to get challenged with this pawn. If we can maybe get the knight here, which I don't think it will stay there for long because the bishop's going to attack it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh no, they're attacking the rook. Ah, they're attacking the rook. The b pawn's falling. So if we bring this here. Oh, but then it's going to x ray through to the. Damn it. Yeah, we come here. Then it's going to. No, we said we we're going to go here, didn't we? Because we were protecting this pawn when they come here. We have the bishop that can come back, can't we? Though? Yeah, okay. Oh, but if we go there, what was I saying? He comes here with the bishop. So he's hitting both of them. Yeah, so that's not good. If we come here, white square bishop's looking to get a little bit funky, attacking the rook. Oof. So are we having to come here? I think we're having to come here. The rook then attacks the pawn, then the bishop comes back to defend the pawn. Oh dear, right, okay. Didn't we? We've talked it through the possibilities. Yes, they're doing all the stuff. Let's just bring the bishop here. And then this pawn's pushing. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Don't think there's any harm in actually taking it's just it's developing their bishops out bishop out. Mm-hmm. Yes, the 1200s are a little bit strong, aren't they? Yeah. Didn't miss any attacks or anything. Well, they did because we got a pawn up and stuff like that. But now they're all of a sudden just improving big style. Mm-hmm. Simple take, bishop takes, but then it's going to have a two-on-one on, one on here. So we'd have to push this pawn up. Oh, but then it's all... Oh, isn't this sickening? Isn't that sickening? There. Bishop takes. We push the pawn up. Bishop comes here. X-ray, you know, hitting the rook again and the knight. We come here. The bishop attacks the rook. The rook can't go anywhere. Wow, this is horrendous. This is horrendous. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not right. That's not right. I come here, he just drops the pawn. Oh, that's not good. I can see it all. It's like a set play. Boom. Bishop takes. We have to move the knight, aren't we? Why why were we not moving the knight? Bishop take prince, didn't they? Move the knight. Yeah, okay, I think that's what we're gonna have to do, isn't it? Definitely. I might have been overthinking that position there. Let's bring the bishop here knight, sorry, attacking the Oh, it's because of the two on one. 
<laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why. Because of the two on one, he gets the pawn back. And he's now going to be on this pawn here. But he doesn't have a dart square bishop. That's why they're moving so quick. Yeah. So he gets the pawn back after all that. And we can come here. Oh, he's got a two on one. Why am I fretting? I can just move the pawn. So I put it onto a dark square. If I pushed it here, he's going to keep it locked on the white square. So I'm going to have to keep it on the dark square. Because he's got a white square bishop. So I'm going to attack the bishop and see if there's any movements for the knight. We can come back again and feel safe if we want to, only for a brief moment because these pawns look like they're ramping down. I uh, what? Oh, going for a bit of a check on the king, is he? So he's saying the bishop is going to be beating the knight. That's what he's saying. Going for the trade. My king's not fast enough to get out of the way. Yeah, he's going to take it. So he's going for the bishop versus the knight. It looks like. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So feeling strong, are you? He's feeling strong. Let's push then. Although they're, they're time-wise, they're ahead of us. So maybe they, they have a plan. I should have pushed this pawn first, actually. A bit too late. But yeah, I should have done a knight move of some sort. And if we take, he takes, splits his pawn out a bit, we come up across. I'm going to just take it. Just push the king up. I thought he was going to take with the pawn, actually. Or are we too slow? If we go here, let's do the count. One. He can't go there just yet, so he has to make another move. He goes there. We go here. He comes back again. We go here. He comes down. Go here, take. He comes down. We go here, take. He takes. We move out of the way. He starts. Oh, he has to come back out. We push. Hmm. Let's see who's faster. That count looked like it was good for us. Just by one move. Yeah, by one move. With a check on. Oh, that's a bit strange. Because if we go there, then we're going to... Actually, why didn't I do that? <laughs> I could have just gone for the pawn. Just go for the pawn. What you did a dallying for and just take it. Not fast enough to come across all the way across here with the king. Nope, he's not. Right, I think we probably can just take a break now then. We've we've hit We've, we're in the 1200 zone although it's only the beginning of the 1200 zone we'll probably be back down to 1150 again or 1100 before we know it anyway we'll keep on tracking